In this Data Bytes episode, we're going to talk about our newest platform capability that we call Change Tracking, which allows you to record important change events and deployments to any entity in your ecosystem and see them as markers on charts inside of New Relic. Today, you can utilize our new NerdGraph API, Jenkins plugin, GitHub Action, and the New Relic CLI to create markers on charts in APM, browser, mobile, service level management, and dashboard sections of the New Relic platform with more capabilities coming soon. More importantly, you can now analyze the impact of those changes on all of your telemetry, including traditional metrics, events, logs, and traces, as well as errors, anomalies, incidents, and more. Let's take a quick tour of what this looks like on the New Relic platform today. Looking at our plan service here, we can see the legacy APM deployment marker UI. On the left, you'll see the link to our new interface for this page which includes a redesigned table that breaks down all of the markers that exist on this specific service entity. The table columns are resizable and are easily sorted to help you create the visualization style you prefer. We've highlighted the traditional application golden signals along with indications of change for each here, and clicking on any of these rows will open an analysis UI for the specific event, which we'll look at in a moment. This table is pre-filtered to the last 30 days but you can easily toggle your search out to a full year, and we are now generating custom events for both our new NerdGraph and Legacy REST APIs that have a 13-month retention by default. There is also a filter bar on this page that will allow you to quickly isolate changes of interest for events generated through the new API. Going into the APM summary view, we can see that there was a pretty large deviation in the majority of our primary signals earlier, and we can also see three distinct change markers aligned across all of our charts as well. We can investigate this story a bit just by hovering over the markers individually. Starting on the left, the tooltip indicates that a change was pushed to the service that was meant to optimize a database query. Around that same time, we see a negative trend in both response time and AppDex score. Shortly after that, there's another change marker indicating a hotfix was pushed, attempting to fix a bad query that seems to be the cause of our current problems. Finally, our last change marker here shows the deployment where we rolled back to our initial state to return the service to a healthy status. For all markers throughout the platform, we can simply click and get an overlay for an analysis page where we can delve deeper into the data around these changes. On the analysis overlay, we're immediately greeted with details about this change event that give us a quick sense of context related to the impact of the change on the underlying service entity. Here we have an analysis from our errors inbox capability where we can see aggregated statistics around the errors from our service, including any new groups and regressions, along with the current status and owner to contact for more details. Next, you can see here a similar analysis from our logs capability, which opens up an overview to show logs related to this service entity and deployment, which are further connected into the actual traces of this application through our powerful logs in context feature from our APM agents. This level of connectedness allows you to quickly troubleshoot situations in numerous directions, all from a centralized landing page. Back on our analysis overlay, you can also see that we have a similar experience following this change event with our anomaly detection and alert incident platform here. Looking at the central area of the screen, we're presenting you with the primary metrics of importance for the specific entity type that this change marker applies to, in this case, an APM service. Clicking on headers for these charts will also provide a more detailed overlay for investigation into the specific metric in question. In the upper right, you'll find the familiar time picker component of our UI, but it is important to note that in change tracking analysis, we are very explicitly concerned about the impact of changes. So what you'll see here is a time selection that buffers your charts both before and after the change event based on your range selection. Right below, you can see the deployment details panel, Notice here that we have a number of fields that are blank. That's because this particular marker was created using our legacy REST API for APM deployment markers. So everything up to this point has been backwards compatible with the workflows that you've been utilizing all this time. However, looking at that same event, but created with the new NerdGraph API, we can start to see the added value that you can place on your telemetry with the additional metadata, including version, deployment type, commit SHA, change log, and a deep link field that can be used to link back into your CICD pipeline, the pull request itself, or a runbook, for instance, among anything else that you could link to. 
One of the really nice additions here is the Group ID field, which you can use to create logical grouping among a mass change event throughout your entire stack. So here we can start to see the potential radius of our change impact because we are visually aware of all the other entities that we sent similar change events to along with this one. This is a great way to gain understanding in those situations where an upstream event has impacted something you own. In our upcoming videos for change tracking, I'll show you how to create a custom dashboard to show your markers, as well as how to generate markers using our NerdGraph API. Keep looking for markers throughout the UI as we continue to expand into capabilities like infrastructure, AI ops, and workloads. And check the description on this video for a link to our documentation on the new change tracking capability. Thank you. Bye.